The Minnesota Timberwolves had a busy day of re-signing restricted free agents, or at least announcing the signings of restricted free agents. For Jared Vandervelt and Jordan McLaughlin have returned to the Minnesota Timberwolves, both on three-year deals. But Jared Vandervelt signing a three-year deal at $13.8 million, which is a nice chunk of change for someone who probably isn't going to and hasn't been playing all that much. And Jordan McLaughlin also gets a three-year deal, which is a two-way contract success story. Someone who still isn't playing a lot for the Timberwolves, but to get a three-year deal, even if that's on minimum money, that man has earned his money. That guy has got his money for the rest of his life. He wants it to be. And so the Minnesota Timberwolves don't get anything significant out of these two guys. Uh, Vandervelt did start 30 games last year, playing in 64, playing about 18 a night. But a lot of that was due to injuries and lack of quality at the power forward spot. Terrion Prince has now been brought onto the team, and he'll be expected to play a bit of a role. Jaden McDaniels, of course, is the real guy that'll be there in significant minutes as he looks to have a lot of upside as a younger guy. And they'll both be ahead of Jared Vandervelt, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Josh Okoji, Jake Lehman can both see some time with the four, more so Lehman than Okoji. And Nathan Knight or Naz Reed or Ed Davis have all played there in a few minutes in their career as well. So there's a lot of options at the power forward spot. Jared Vanderbilt is ex isn't expected to be an often used player, but nonetheless, he gets his bag. And he's been okay enough when he's been called upon. And so he has gotten the bag because of it. More than I expected, but fair play to Vanderbilt. As far as. Uh, the, the nature of Jordan McLaughlin on this Minnesota Timberwolves team. He's going to be behind D'Angelo Russell and Patrick Beverly next season as that backup, or I should say third point guard. Now, of course, they don't have a ton of shooting guard depth, and so maybe he gets a little bit of minutes in there. He did play 51 games last year, playing 18 minutes a night. So when he played, he did play some minutes, and that's kind of the type of role I could see him sliding into again this year as one of their bench guards, not one of the primary ones, but someone who can come in, can hit a few threes, isn't going to be great defensively at five foot eleven. He is undersized, but he can give you a little bit of offense, a little bit of playmaking, a little bit of spacing, and he does that fine. Someone who has now earned a three-year deal after being a two-way contract entering the league, and has now come in and earned a spot with the Minnesota Timberwolves for the next three years. So that is my thoughts on the Jordan McLaughlin and Vanderbilt re-signings by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the deals. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to hear my thoughts on other things NBA offseason, then be sure to click the box on the right-hand side of the screen. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.